Hi, I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Burlington, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse and I want to show you this vehicle. We have a neat truck here. It's fun to show you neat pieces. And this is a, a fun piece and something you don't see all the time. It's a Corvair pickup. It's a 1961. It we lived in Arizona and it was used as a uh, appliance store for a long time and then it moved to uh, San Diego, California where I bought it out of San Diego and it's just a fun piece and one of the reasons I uh, pushed on buying this, got an automatic and I don't care about shifting and and uh, so it, it, and it runs down the road good and everything and then let's take a look at it so you can see what we have here. See it's got a nice grill on here, the chrome looks good on here. The paint is not perfect on here. There are some issues with it some places in here. And when we detail it, we'll see if we can make it a little better, but I don't think we're gonna gain on it a whole lot that way. And it, it just, you know, I mean, it's it's pretty combination with the white and the red. And it's got rally wheels on it. And it t tires are like almost brand new on there. So they're all good. And it's got a nice interior in it. It's got a, Red and white uh, interior, and with a red seat in there and a the headliner. Somebody, of course, put a sunroof in it, so you may not like it because it's got a sunroof, but it's got it. Why not enjoy it? So it's got a radio in it, and I couldn't get it to work. And so I called him and I said, hey, I can't, the radio doesn't work. How do you work it? And uh, he says, hey, you know, I just never used it. He didn't know. So we haven't played with it much that way. I like the gauges in there that are mounted in there underneath the dash. So they they and they all work good. See the speedo there. Anyway, I think you find it's a pretty neat piece, and it runs good. Doors close good. It's got rail, the chrome rails on here on both sides, and it just uh, as you can see. I mean, it's just all. Decent, I don't see anything. I didn't find any rust in it. There's one little small spot, and that and that's all I've seen rust-wise in it. But it, it we got a little bit of the paint, like right in here. It's not, it's not, uh, you can see it's kind of orange peel right there a little bit, or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, we haven't been underneath here. I haven't looked underneath here about the spare. Or maybe there is no spare there. Anyway, you, you got the two levers right here. And you can load, lower this down. The battery is right here. It's a handy little spot for the battery right there. And the engine is right here. It's a six-cylinder uh, pancake engine. Corvair with dual carbs on it. And it runs, it runs good. This has got about 7,000 miles on a complete rebuild. And the carburetors have been rebuilt too, also. So looks good there. This is how you can access the engine. They got the oil cap right there. You can see way back in there. And again, this side over here. Oop, I got the light, light in the way. Anyway, there you go. And you can just, I mean, it, it, it's just a neat looking piece. I've had a lot of compliments on it already. People looking at it and seeing it. So it's got a ramp side door right here. This ramp side door is interesting. You got the two levers in here. Oh, and I did it right there. See, see it's got this lock? Well, right here, got a latch and you got it. that's a safety latch on it that's right there and this will lower all the way down to the ground and you can walk right up in here you can load something in here pretty easily I mean it probably worked really well as a uh, uh, appliance truck so it's not as near off the ground that way Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A little slick. That was, that was slippery. <laughs> <laughs>
anyway, <laughs> that was a fun ride. And if you have a display board that comes with it, already set up. Oh man, that's gotten cracked. That's probably been cracked. It, just quit looking at it there. She wants to make sure she sees it too. So I don't know why we have different colored units here. But anyway, you have it and you can see it. And again, door opens up good. And you can see in there, it's all clean. The carpets are real good on there. I mean, it's a, it's a clean little truck, solid. And I don't know where you're gonna find another one. I, I see them out there, but I can't say that I've ever, I've had, I've never had a Corvair. I've had Dodge and Ford uh, cab overs, but this is my first Corvair. Okay, we're gonna show you what works and doesn't work. There's park lights, headlights, High beam, low beam, look at there. Okay, so that's all working. We already know that the wipers do not work. Uh, they're solid, but the motor, there's a motor underneath there. And when we have a service and safety check, we'll have them take a look at it. We're not gonna guarantee that the wipers are working. There's been a California and Arizona car, so they don't hardly play with it. The buttons on the uh, dash are underneath the dash there. Or something. So the horn works. It's got a radio in it. Same with the radio. We just checked the fuses on it and it's not doing anything. And I called I called Fred and asked him about the uh, radio and he says, I never tried it. He may have tried it, but he'd had it, what, since 19 or 2015, I think he bought this somewhere from Arizona. So he just drove it. He said, I just never used the radio. So you got wipers that don't work. And again, we'll try to take care of that, but I'm not gonna guarantee them. Uh-oh, it quit. Oh, you forgot the fuel pump. That's another thing, it's got electric fuel pump on it and there's a switch right on the dash. You can leave that off and that way somebody tries to steal it, they're gonna run out of gas. Do the turn signals right now. So there's the right, left, Oh, we got a little wiring problem there, and we'll get that taken care of. So they will be working. Let's walk under the Corvair here and show you the underside. Chrome bumper's in great shape. I probably could have cleaned on that a little bit more, but anyway, it's, it's all in good shape. Not pitted or anything. It's, it, all the chrome finish is in good shape. Um, you can see the paint's not perfect down here. Low, a lot of times painters, <laughs> they don't get down low and, and finish things off real well, but... You know, it's not the greatest paint job in the world anyway, um, but, uh, you know, it, it presents well on the top side, but you can see all the metal is really good. I mean, there's nothing that I saw in the way of corrosion anywhere in this thing, and you can see the framework and all the uh, floor pans are just the same way. I mean, I I wish that there's something that I... Well, actually, I don't wish. I I can't show you much anything because I haven't found anything in the way of rust, so... I mean, look, it all looks clean. I mean, I think this is probably factory paint. You know, undercoat or not undercoat, but uh, primer. But anyway, there's the bottom of the engine there and it's uh, supposedly pretty fresh. I don't remember the amount of miles on it. I think it's pretty pretty low. I think it was like 5,000 or something like that, but 7,000 maybe. Um, anyway, got good rubber on all four corners. There's the bottom of the transmission, automatic. There's just nothing much to point out. I mean, it's, I don't know these things very well. So you got some, a little bit of corrosion right there, but it, you know, it's all solid. And that's probably the worst I've seen so far. I don't know if anything's been done up here. It looks like there's a piece maybe that was added in here and maybe undercoated over the top, but all this paint looks like it's probably original uh, primer, like I say. 
You go over on the driver's side, it's the same. I mean, it's all good and solid. I don't see anything that looks like, uh, Oh, look at that. Maybe that's maybe this has been redone and repainted. Just look at that. That's there's some rust right there. And it looks like it's been painted since that was done. So I guess it's not the original primer under here, but it sure looks like it. It just the color of it maybe makes it look that way. But anyway, it's all good and solid though. I, I and again I don't know these cars, so I or pickups, I should say. So I don't know where to look for rusty spots. There might be some corrosion up in there, little pinholes They're right there. So there's, it's not perfect in here, but I've, I'm very amazed at how clean it is for the vintage of it. And, you know, I'm only familiar with a few Corvair cars, but this is the only pickup I think we've ever had. And it's a neat piece. I, I really like driving around here. I wish you'd drive it home. I might. I do that if the weather gets nice. I mean, it's just a blast to drive. It's it's just a unique feeling, and and people driving by, a, you know, certain cars get d different reactions. And this truck, you go by people, and they're just smiling at you because it's just I think the novelty of it. They don't see it. So there's a there's a couple of spots that have been banged up in the front here. Overall, this thing's very solid. Maybe there's some filler in there it looks like it's cracked but i've not gone around with the body with a magnet but it's it's very straight and we don't see anything in the way of bubbles in the body anywhere but you know it's got some wear and tear in spots which you can see it's a driver but fun driver and cl very clean i mean how many cars do we put up on a lift and they're this clean i mean we wiped it down a bit but probably spent two hours on it maybe if that just cleaning it up and you know, wiping the wheels down and dressing them and stuff like that. So not much. Nice truck. a really nice driver. I like it. 
a call here in Burlington, 206-533-9600.